Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and I thought we'd do a short video. We're testing the Red Dot RD Pro 1500 uh, panel right here. And you can see it's a big panel, it's very intense. Intense. We're testing alongside um, four other panels that all do pulsing, and, and we're going to be doing some reviews and, and blogs about pulse panels obviously they're all from alibaba um but you know they're all doing pulsing and i want i'm gonna try to keep it short we're gonna do a quick test on power and intensity we've got our gnr lab sensor here here's our new new sensor this is the one i've been developing with gnr labs it is nist um, calibrated to be in the right range for pbm so it's really neat um, and it gives you straight milliwatts per centimeter squared, so it's much more straightforward than a uh, laser power meter. There's no conversions. It's it's already um, perfectly calibrated for red light therapy. So we're at 60. Uh, again, you know, a company like this would say, oh, this is like, you know, 180 or 200 if you use a solar power meter. But still 60 is, is a lot in real world numbers, if you understand these numbers. Um, and then we've got the power consumption. Let's see. Now you can see it there. It's 510, so that's that's a lot of power for for um, you know a three foot tall panel. So 510 watts, uh, about 60 milliwatts per centimeter squared. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch it over to uh, the pulse mode. And I got to go through all these settings. I'm going to bump it just all the way up to 20. And 20 is the max, which is kind of weird, but we're going to max it out at 20. We're pulsing only near infrared, so there's no uh, risk to your eye. Obviously, through the camera, you can't, can't even see that the pulsing is taking place. You can see a couple little flickers <laughs> because they do that. They're trying to ramp up the brightness, kind of like how Juve does, but they're doing it very poorly, and it just kind of goes... <laughs> So it gives you little flicks of, of increasing the intensity to, and, and it only takes like a couple seconds to do that, but it's kind of annoying. Uh, so anyway, we were at 60, but now that we're pulsing, uh, we're, we're going to be down to 45 right here. So we're at 45. Obviously, I didn't move the sensor. I didn't move anything. Everything's set up. I kept it at 12 inches away. Maybe the sensor got rotated a little bit, but I didn't bump it. Anyway. But it's at 46 so we're at almost 60 before and when you go go to the pulse mode it drops the average intensity that's i asked the guy at the lab he says it's basically going to be averaging out the intensity when you pulse it or if it's flickering and then you get this idea this is our new average intensity that companies aren't even going to tell you you know they're using a solar power meter they're not going to show you the decrease of power when it's pulsing because they've been lying to you that oh more power is better so why would they add a pulse mode and then admit that they are actually decreasing the intensity the average intensity and you can see obviously it's even even if you got this household meter it's only consuming 406 watts now so i think it dropped what like, like it dropped like a hundred watts um so again that's a substantial drop in intensity so if everyone's saying oh pulsing's better it's not better because they're not increasing the peak power to offset the loss of intensity so really all you're doing is is decreasing the intensity decreasing the power which is more effective because companies have been lying about saying uh, more power is more effective um so again we're gonna see more and more panels that have the pulsing modes they're gonna make up all kinds of <laughs> information about why they think pulse panels are better even though they haven't been clinically studied there are studies that use lasers and contact devices but not panels so you're gonna be cherry picking the the quotes again and making up all this stuff but they're not making up for the loss of power and most of the studies use lasers they crank up the power for the pulse mode to offset that loss if you don't do that then they could perform less as beneficial as continuous so just stick with continuous um, so again the, the real benefit of pulse mode that we can see here we're going to see it in the future is that you're just dropping the intensity down which is better it's better for you to have less intensity you don't want to overheat yourself uh, so that'll just prove our point that we've been saying all along but i guess if we need you know kind of a placebo pulse mode to make you feel like you've got something special then then that's what we got to do 
Um, so, you know, hopefully this is a nice little short and we're going to try to, to finish up our review of, of these other panels soon. And, and I, you know, I think we're going to notice a lot of weird things in these panels.